Whirly Birds and Night Owls, my name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Planet Coaster Career Mode. So, I just want to say I apologize if my phone goes off. I am waiting for my dinner right now. I am recording at a very wrong time, but I need to get it done now because I'm going to be very busy when I'm supposed to, you know, usually be recording. So, I apologize for my phone. I usually wouldn't have it on, but I kind of sort of have to. Also, about the park, well, I did finish a very <laughs> interesting ride that I have a feeling will break down a lot. Uh, it took me a while to actually figure out how to do it, but I did it overnight, so yeah, I didn't get much sleep, but I was able to finish the ride. Also, we have Zeus here, and it's broken. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, or was broken? Okay, uh, sure. Whatever. We have this, but I need to close it down because I believe we can complete another one of these objectives here if I close it down and do something different. So I'm going to just go over here. You see this here? We're going to bump that up to 14. And now let's bring it into a test to see if that works. If it doesn't, then my bad. I thought wrong. I could have sworn that it worked in in uh, my testing, roller coaster testing zone part, quote unquote. And, well, I'm just hoping that it works here. Because <laughs> otherwise, oh no, then I'm going to have to do even more to make sure the roller coaster that I need for one of these things actually gets built properly. Otherwise, this is going to be golden. This is going to be really freaking golden, please. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we completed the gold objectives for build a coaster. This one. That most six nausea so has 2.79, at least 3,281 feet long. It is way over that, as you can tell. And an average speed of at least 30 miles per hour. It is now 33 miles per hour after changing the, the chain lift speed. And so that also bumped up the excitement quite a bit. Now, I'm pretty sure that if I would have made it longer, or should I say taller instead, and had a bigger drop, and maybe amplify the speed just a little bit and made the fear a little less, I could have completed that one. But that just seems to be a, a coaster all on its own. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to build another launch coaster, or there's another. There's other types of launch coasters that I was looking at in the, uh, in the sandbox mode. Yeah, we don't have any of them yet. However, I do have a coaster that will satisfy this. And you guys are going to be like, what the hell did you just do when you see it? Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Let's see. Um, so, as you can see here, it's a little bit of a crazy coaster. We don't have the money for it just yet, but we will soon. Oh, let me just uh, fast forward that. But we will soon. But uh, I had the idea that... Okay, I don't know if any of you guys played Roller Coaster Tycoon, but there was like this one car ride that like went up and down and had like this whole racetrack car. It was one of the race car rides and it did all the like the, I don't know, like all the bumps. It went up all bumps and kind of stuff like that. That's what I was inspired by for this one because I just thought that would be like such a cool idea. Also, I just realized that I did not open up this roller coaster. So my bad. <laughs> Let's just pretend that didn't happen. All right, there we go. <laughs> But yeah, that's why I was inspired by because I just thought that, that would be I would, like we don't have a ride like that. But it's such a good idea, and I love that ride so much that I had to put it in here somehow. And so I came up with this. It has four chain lifts just to keep the speed low. Oh, what we were doing research? <laughs> I forgot about that. Let's see what do we have here. It's the boa coaster. Nope. Nope. Uh. Uh. No. 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 Let's see what do, uh, dangling the light sounds like. It's not going to be one of the ones that I want. Hmm, back to the 80s. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to mean, but let's try this one. <laughs> and after that, we'll try dangling the lights if need be. I don't, yeah, we need a lot of money, so I'm not going to do both of them at the same time. But let's see, where are we? So yeah, the this one, the premise is that it's four dragons, and they are all, I don't know, they're, you can call them brothers if you want to. Brother dragons are just floating along and trying to find their ways in life. If you want to give it, you know, a backstory. It's not necessary, but... I am trying to justify the reason for building it this way. And I expect that it's going to break a lot. I really do think it will because it's uh, all, the, all the chain lifts. It doesn't have that many breaks because it was always going very, very slow. I think the max speed on this one is 39, which is not too bad. It's really not too bad. Oh, we have enough money for it now. Uh, is this really where I want to place it? <laughs> I have to make sure of that before I place it down because I don't want to have to delete it. I mean, I can place it there, but I think I'm going to place the biggest coaster that I'm ever going to build here. So yeah, let's place it here when we get enough money. Uh, wait, why can't... Oh, because it was intersecting with the other one. My bad. 
All right, so it should go something like this. There we go. All right, there goes the rest of our money. And how's the queue for this one? It seems like maybe this ride it might be a little too exciting. Oh, they just want to go on it. Well, sure. Ugh, I need to bump up the track scenery rating for sure, but that's going to take up putting a lot of stuff like on the inside. Also, I probably should have changed the station to go that way again, but meh. And let's see. I did want to check on the guest complaints to see how they're doing. Uh, thirsty. Okay, a lot more people are thirsty. That means that we actually have to do something about that because otherwise, ugh, they're going to be complaining for forever. So let's go ahead and get ourselves another cosmic cow. What the heck is this? Bozo the Clown is a what? I can't even tell what it is. It's not a food stall. It's not a drink stall. It's not gifts. Oh, it's a bathroom. What the? Uh, I think I said it before already, though. Like, you're going to poop your pants if you see that thing instead of actually using the bathroom in it. But let's go ahead and place our fabulous cosmic cow right next to the ATM because I, I believe that's going to be a good place for it. I, I actually trust it to be there. <laughs> I just hope that that path doesn't get too crazy because then we're probably going to have to try to make it a lot bigger. But anyway, let's work on this one. We're going to need to attach the entrance and the exit somehow. Let's see. I should maybe put the... Oof, which one should I put first? I think I'm going to put the entrance here. The exit somewhere over here. Oh, that's a really rough way to get it in, but I think it works. So let's see if we can do this. Oh, we can totally do that. You just have to keep going straight out for there and maybe bring it in here. Can I bring it over here? Oh, I can. ho, 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 ho. I'm just going to have to bring it out this way, though, just to complete it. But before we do that, let's get a path. Oh, well, at least it works that way so we can put the benches down here because uh, we do always need benches. At least that's what I think. Like, if you don't put benches, maybe people are going to throw up. Although this ride, since it is a junior coaster, I doubt anybody's going to be throwing up. This is like probably the lowest nausea rating coaster I've ever built. So we will see about that in a second. I'm just trying to build out the queue. Maybe not too long, huh? That's probably a little too long. All right, let me just build this around here. Uh, what the? I could have sworn I saw something over there moving. Maybe I'm just, I'm going a little crazy, you guys. Ugh, coasters. All right, let's start bringing this down because we need it to be down. And that might just be a little too much. <laughs> we shall see. Let's see. Got to bring this out. Oh, geez, I did not say do that. Just got to bring it out, though, first. All right. And cue it up. Cue it up, fellas. Oh, I, Yeah. I guess it looks super wonky, but I will accept. I accept it. So now they can go uh, from here right onto that. And we do have a lot, like a really big capacity. 16 cars for train, four trains, and each one holds, uh, I want to say 24, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, more than 24. Great. So yeah, massive capacity. I doubt it's ever going to be used. We might have to start removing trains, honestly. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and decorate this, though. We're going to start with the uh, regular benches. And I guess we can probably put... Oh, right. That's heading downward. I guess I'll just do the benches here. Uh, is there any way I can place the bins closer over here? Uh, right there. That, that might work, right? That might work. All right. Let's place some bins over here as well. And hopefully that'll do it for the bins. Oh. What the? Insufficient ones. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas to me. I forgot about the money. I totally... I've been just so used to being in, in sandbox mode now that I'm just like, mm, just spend all the money in the world. I don't have to worry about it. No, but I really do have to worry about it now. <laughs> Ooh. Is anything broken? Is that why I can't buy benches of all things? Like, benches seem to be, like, maybe the cheapest thing in the world, and right now they're not. All right, we have a little bit of money to work with, so let's try to get this path out. So I won't have to deal with this problem anymore. There we go. All right. So no more worrying about the path, I guess. I'm not going to connect the two roller coasters together because I feel like uh, they have very different audience. Ugh, go away. I feel like they do have a very different audience, though, because the junior coaster is a junior coaster. We'll test it out in a second. Ugh. I hate paths sometimes. City skylines, please come save these paths. Okay. You know what? No. Bad. Bad. Ugh. Okay, let's try this again. Just straight out there. Good. Okay, and just straight into this one. Good. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. That's the path that I wanted to see. Now we can probably put more benches there, but do I really want to? Meh. So let's go ahead and get this guy tested out, and we shall see just how it rides. I guess I'll just stay here. Just 
chill out here at the live data so you guys can see just what, how it goes. So we're starting with this one, obviously. The rest of them just go on their own time. And we do have these going pretty quickly so that the trains won't be stuck there forever. So the ride can go just a little faster. And I lost track of the train I was supposed to be watching. <laughs> But yeah, it does go around and round and round, and that's like that's, that was basically the only way that I could get the proper airtime with this specific coaster. Like, I tried other roller coasters other than junior coasters, and one of the ones I made was super wonky. I didn't save it because I was just like, mm, maybe no one's ever gonna want to ride this one, or I, I just didn't want to see it in the park because it looks super wonky. It looked like mouse ears. <laughs> There we go! Oh, <laughs> silver objectives complete, or should I say, medium objectives complete, because, as you can see here, oh, we made some money, alright, as you can see here, we have max speed 40, oh, that's going a little faster than it was before, but that's okay, because it counts, totally counted, and what was the other one, 5 seconds of airtime, we have 8.8 .8 seconds of airtime, and 15 airtime counts, yes, I was right when I was saying, you know, doing this, like bringing it to the bottom, and then going up, and to the bottom, and going up, like it has to feel like you're going to fall out of your seat. And that's what counts. So we made a lot of that here. Very small. Surely very small. The other one that I had, it was like this. It went like something like this. It looped around with, with a non-inverted piece so we could get some airtime. They were just, it was crazy. It was crazy. And if I ever want to build it again, I might just do that. But I'm going to stay far away from that one because it looks super fugly. And I don't want that kind of roller coaster in my park this one though hopefully the kitties will start riding because we do have some kitties here and insanity broke i feel like insanity keeps breaking oh we have people who are hungry all right i can take care of the hunger let's go ahead and what's the rating on this one uh nine percent mm, the food is right there though so i think i'll decorate that key with something else but with this one let's go ahead and get le givive le givive is beloved by everyone so naturally, that's what we're going to put in the park. Although I would like to get some, uh, what's the french fry one? Because I'm very much craving french fries right now. Ugh, the cravings. All right, let's go with that there. And Monsieur Fritz, that's what it's called. <laughs> I just remembered. All right, there we go. We have food, ATM, drink. Hopefully that's a good place for people to get what they need. And we might have to add some more benches. And ooh, there's some benches there and bins right there and benches there and bins right there. Maybe not. Maybe not, but as we are seeing here, oh my gosh, everybody, everybody, everybody's coming over here. It's actually a pretty exciting ride. As you look here, it's almost five excitement, and the nausea, I mean, the fear, not that bad. The nausea's pretty good for sure, but the fear, it's really good value. Excuse me. All right, let's charge more. Since we don't have any track scenery, I'm just like, mm, might not be able to charge too much for it, but maybe $10? $10? Holy Q! I did not expect that many people to want to ride that. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Well, at least we have enough trains, right? Jeez. Okay, we have new research. Let's take a look at this. What the? I, I didn't... Okay, the equalizer. It's a hyper coaster. Hmm. Mm, don't know if I want a hyper coaster. Nothing above, nothing below. I mean, I want another launch coaster. I don't know which one of these. Maybe this one says, says all about airtime. Maybe a launch coaster will be all about airtime. I just want something that's different than the one we already have here. I don't want another launch hydraulic coaster. And I believe there are two more that we can use. Just have to unlock them. But let's see. This should probably go full. It's apparently still really good value. Okay, I am building apparently really good coasters here. The queue is full. Yeah, everybody's going to start complaining about that. Ooh, the trains need to get here sooner than later. Uh, I was gonna say, let's go for full load. No car, no trains leave without full load, because that's not how we work here. We need to get through that queue as fast as possible, because oh boy, did I not plan for that at all. I was like, mm, baby ride, who's gonna want to ride that, you know? It's still really good value, what the heck do you guys want? Fine, I'm gonna go for the highway robbery here, <laughs> if that's what you guys want. Let's see what they start thinking now, because apparently they're still thinking it's good value, like... Is it really? Is it really? Did that go down? Did that change? It feels like that change. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's see. So station costs. Yeah, the, the biggest part is the car costs because we have so many cars. It's like char costing us an arm and a freaking leg. But on the bright side, we can probably have a lot of people on the coaster at one time going through it, hurrying up, paying us all the money that they want to pay us because apparently it's still really freaking good value. All right, let's keep going up. <laughs> up, 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 until they start complaining. Oh, it's too expensive. I can't afford this. Blah, blah, blah. Speaking of, they can't afford this. I need another ATM. I realize that right now because I don't have one on this path. 
So let's just go for an ATM probably here in the corner. And I guess that might add to the Q scenery rating here. Although that Q rating is already pretty high. But anyway, ATM, let's go for the standard one since it works here. And we'll just uh, shove it right here. Yeah, it's, you know, not... Mm, fine, I'll put it there. Alrighty, so now they can grab money from there instead of having to go all the way out here and then go around. Because that's really pointless. And I know maybe people will want to... Ooh, where is the... <laughs> After I bumped up the excitement on this one, people are just not... Ooh, Maybe they're writing it, but it just doesn't seem like there's too many people there. Oof. That's a problem. How much are we charging for this one? 18. So now they're both the same price. So if you guys want to complain about the cost of this one, complain about the cost of that one too. Let's see. Is this one being repaired at a more frequent rate? No, it's not. Okay, we need that right now. We need it inspected. Sorry, not repaired. And same thing probably with this one. Maybe. I'm going to go for 20 minutes right now because it seems to be fine. I mean, we just opened it, which is probably why it's fine. Is it still really good value? It's still... How much do you guys want me to charge? How much? Like, let's see. Who's going to come up here? They're going to... Oh, I just saw people walk away. Is, are they thinking that it's really, really expensive or something? Uh, you guys? Uh, no? Who was it? Ford... Re it's still really great value. Oh, has boring scenery on board. Okay, well, we'll add to it soon. Just calm down. Because I do want to add four dragons. Like, four actual dragons. We'll see about that. <laughs> I just want to take a look at this and adjust the price accordingly. Obviously, if we add some scenery... Okay, I just saw actual people, like other people. <laughs> actual people, yeah. I saw some actual people in the game. They're just complaining about the scenery and they're walking away. Mm, really? Really? I don't think that's all you could have been thinking about. You loved it. I can't believe how cheap... What the? I... What? Okay, there's that one person. I saw you. I'm going to watch you. You don't have enough money. Oh, are you going to the ATM? No, you're heading to Coaster King. How much is Coaster King then if you're walking over there and you don't have enough money for the other one? That person's whack. <laughs> that person's super whack. Oh my gosh. Well, everybody's walking away from this now, so I don't know if it's still a really good value. I might be able to charge like $50,000 for this one. Holy crap. Because that's not going down at all. It's, I mean, it went down like 3%, but that's probably because everybody else started thinking that they don't have enough money for it, right? So we can maybe just bump this up a little bit more. I'm going to go to 24 and see if they start complaining then. Because I don't know where we have to go. I know if it was lower price, more people would be riding it right now. Just because they wouldn't have to go get money from the ATM or anything. But, but... If we can make a good amount of money from this, I will be very, very, very much pleased. So, so far, so good, right? So far, so freaking good. Yeah, people are still queuing in. Oh, it's so expensive. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. All right, 22 seems to be okay. So we'll stick with 22. And still the... Oh, that's dropping slowly. All right, so 22. There we go. It's gone. Oh, it's back. Is it going to go away? Because if not, then I'll just drop it to 20 or 18. I, I can be fine with that. I'll be totally okay with that. No? And they're like flip-flopping between it. They're like, I want to go on it, but it's so expensive. Ugh. But there's still tons of people queuing up. Mm. see a lot of people turning away. Maybe they just don't have the money, though. 8% of people think it's expensive. All right, I think 22 we're going to leave it at because it's uh, pretty good. And now more people should hopefully be riding this because it's not as expensive. And no, alas, no, they're not. No, oh, research project. Let's go. <laughs> What's this? It's the Anubis coaster. I believe that's a another hyper coaster. Come on, game. Hmm. Well, I don't believe. Oh, there goes Symmetra. <laughs> I don't believe these should be the one I'm looking for. So we're just gonna go ahead and research one of them just to get the others unlocked. Ugh. This is gonna be like endless research, and it's not really what we need. But. Mm. Something has to be done about it, because we're going to need that roller coaster at some point. Which coaster was I talking about? Yeah, one of the other launch coasters. I just don't know how long it's going to take us to unlock it. Ugh. But it must be here, because it seems like we can unlock most coasters here. Anyway, maybe it's time to add some scenery over here, huh? Because that 9% rating is probably screwing us over right now. So let's go ahead and add some scenery rating. I believe I want to add some rocks. Do we have rocks available to us? Let's see. It should be in nature stuff. Okay, so we have alpine rocks. Nah. Deciduous rocks? Perhaps. Since deciduous rocks do work here. We have tropical rocks? Yeah, no. I mean, they, I love the way they look. Don't get me wrong, but they just look like they belong next to a beach. Not here. 
So no, let's not do that. Mm, don't like those. I love these though. These look proper. So I wish there was a way to make them bigger. Like I don't, I don't believe there is. No, we can align to surface because I mean that might work. But is that even doing anything? I don't even think that's doing anything. No, it's not. So we're gonna need a lot of rocks. Oh my gosh, these are massive though. I love that. Oh yes. The bigger the rock, the better it is because we don't have to place so many of them then. So let's just uh, continue lining the queue with them because I just want to have like maybe them spilling out to here close to the path so that then a dragon can be sitting atop. You know how it is? Because I think that would look the coolest. So let's see. Well, there, mm, that one's not as big. This one's pretty big, but it's just something about it doesn't seem right. I don't know. Let's see. We're not covering the whole thing, so we should probably just uh, do this. And are you not going to go down? You're going to go, I think, there? Yeah, that works for me. All right. It sits there properly. And uh, where the heck did that one go? It's <laughs> in the ground. No, I wanted it like over here. There we go. Something like over here. Is that sticking up through the thing? No, it's not. But it is over here, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to like be popping on the other side and bring that one down. So it looks like... Uh, there we go, you guys. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. I will just... Uh, try to mute it now since it is in front of my eyes so I shouldn't be too concerned with it let's see so we shall probably start placing some more rocks along the way here Ooh, that was like right in your face I'm sorry about that and maybe not clip it through the path because that's gonna be bad I don't know if that's like makes it so that you can't walk there something like that all right that works for me just gotta place some more out here oh, oh my gosh my Canadian is showing even though I'm not Canadian <laughs> oof I grew up close enough to Canada that I knew a few Canadians and just when I was young, I was impressionable. So the accent kind of sticks sometimes. I apologize. Let's, uh, ooh. Let's go over here and just stick it right there. Good. All right. I like that. I like the way that looks. And so far we can just continue doing the rocks just like this. And I guess we can probably make like a little, hmm, do I want one of the dragons sitting there? I don't think I do. Maybe like out here or something. So let's just start placing some rocks here and there just to get the dragon like perched up atop of this. Let's see. I like these better because <laughs> they're so much bigger. And that's just, that's better. Okay. That's just better to me. Let's see. So let's just drop that there and something like that. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I do like that. So let's go ahead and get our dragon. Uh, do we have the dragons actually? Oof. Do we have fairy tale theme? No, we don't. We don't have it. All right, gotta gotta research that. So while that gets, ooh, I was about to say while that gets researched, we can just continue this. But no, I know that's not possible because then the game gets really, really framey, and it's not gonna be good. So let's just keep a watch on this because oh, 44. I want to go on the four dragons. Okay, still really good value to 9% of people. Oh, 8%. All right, I guess I'm going to... Oh, come on. It's getting there, you guys. Don't complain so much. It's going to get there. I promise. Like, there's some rocks there. It's already at 40%. <sighs> They're jerks. They're not being patient, but that's okay. I understand. It's like the other rides. I don't know how that one got the Q rating from that. Like, it's not even that close. So it's weird. But, uh, whatever. Just whatever, you guys. All right, so how is that research going? Let's take a look at this. Seven more days. And I should also take a look at my staff because I, ooh, I placed down some places and did not actually take care of the staff. So let's train them up and everybody else up who needs some training. And yeah, I should probably be looking at this a little more because the faster, so, sorry, not the faster, the better trained they are, the faster they work. And that's what we need right now. <laughs> that's exactly what we need. Let's see. So, Looney Turns is losing money right now. I don't see a queue over there, so maybe that's why. Oof. I mean, we can get rid of it. Technically, we can get rid of it because we already unlocked the, the thing. Excuse me. The objective. Okay, there we go. We have our fairy tale scenery, themery, whatever you want to call it, scenery. So, now we can go ahead and look for some dragons. <laughs> so, we have the eating dragon. And I love this dragon because it can eat poop. And <laughs> you can always place down some poop for the dragon to eat. But this one, I don't know. It's a, are there smaller dragons? I'm going to put a sleeping dragon. Maybe because it's a lot smaller. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think any dragon's going to go over here. We're probably going to have to place one over here instead. Ugh. Are there any other dragons for us to use? I don't see anything. No, I don't see anything. Oh, that's too bad. So we have to make use of these three dragons and maybe recolor one of them or recolor all of them. 
because when I think of dragons, I think maybe like green and purple or something like that. But that's just me, because <laughs> I love purple, and everything has to be purple. So let's just go ahead and continue our rocky, rocky fort here. I don't know what you want to call this thing. Our rocky area with some more deciduous rocks. Just I guess I can scatter them over here just to make a room for our brand new soon-to-be dragon. Oh, that one's floating just a bit. I think that's okay though. It's not gonna be too bad. And just oh, is that yeah? Slightly floating. That's okay. We can take care of that with just doing something like that. And let's grab this one so we can add some variation. Although it's hardly variation when you've already placed everything down. Ugh. Okay, let's so. Uh, Come on, go down. Good. Further down. Good. All right. I like that. Let's keep it going. That's all we need to do. This is all we need to do right now. Make the queue super beautiful. And maybe make it like so the dragon per can perch atop these rocks. Because, well, that's all it's going to take right now for the queue scenery to go up. Uh, there's like one rock that's there. Is there like a flat rock? Mm, that's not flat. Uh, maybe that's like the flattest rock that we have. So if we can like make it sort of like a thing. Hmm. Oh well. The dragon does have to sink into it at some point. So let's go for recent since it is new stuff. And let's have maybe a dragon on the lookout, right? Oof. It's uh <laughs> It's getting a little wonky there. Alright. So the dragon oh, it's like sinking into the rocks too. Hmm. Well, I mean maybe you can cover the uh the plate with something, right? Let's see. Can I do that without actually covering the dragon's feet? Let's see. Let's grab this one. I, I suppose it's a little smaller than the rest of them. And we can totally just use it in like little nooks and crannies and get rid of all that there. All right, good. It's it's working so far. Ooh, that's covering like a little bit of the toenail, but I think that's okay. It can be like stepping onto the rock or stepping into the rock, I should say. Because, you know, dragons are super powerful and whatnot. And oh, we need some over there. Let's uh, raise it up just a little bit. There we go. Good. And so far, so okay, I suppose. Let's see. Something like there. Mm -hmm. That's looking okay to me. I mean, maybe it's uh, <laughs> everybody sees it differently, but to me, it looks fine. It looks like it's uh, it's convincing enough. I hope that the park guests assume that it's convincing enough, too, because otherwise, oh, I'm going to have a choice word for them or two. You know, it's not fair. <laughs> It's not fair, you guys. I worked my butt off for this. No, I'm kidding. Literally, this is like taking me 20 minutes to do, so I'm not really working my butt off. There we go. Something like that. It's not covering like one little bit over there, but I, I think that's okay. I think we can survive with... Uh, sure, fine. It's covering a bit of the nails, but that's fine. All right, so what, what was this dragon doing? It's on the lookout. It's on the lookout for guests here at the roller coaster, huh? Huh? Let's see, 92%. Ho <laughs> ho What do you jerks have to say now? Huh? Yeah. They don't have enough money to go. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Although nobody's complaining about the queue anymore. So I am okay with that. And that prestige. Look at the prestige. Maybe that's why we are getting these rides being ignored now for this one. <laughs> Although the track scenery still needs some help. It's, uh, where did I check that? No, oh, right here. Very low. So we're going to have to go along and add things here. Maybe like a mountain here instead of just a rock. Because a rock mountain is going to take a little too long to build out. So maybe not that. But I'm saying all these things. And really what I should be focusing on is this. Yep. We need to be focusing on this coaster. But still the research takes forever. So I think on my own time I'm just going to unlock some more research. So I can get that done and find another one of the launch coasters. Let's see. We're making a monthly profit of 3,000, so we can actually have two types of research going at the same time. Uh, oh, let's reveal that one. And we have the Black Falcon Coaster. Yeah, no, that's not it. An alternative launch. Ha ha ha, finally! There we go. We might just have it here. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and research this one, too. A Freedom of Flight. What the heck is that one? If you guys know of a list that has, like, everything listed out, like, you know, this is, like, this coaster is labeled under the research panel an alternative launch or the freedom of flight then let me know in the comments because i would like to know what these are before researching them just in case you know i don't really want to spend the money on that research because i'm probably not going to use them <laughs> like i'm not going to use half of these coasters or even more than half the wing coaster hmm. interesting 
interesting. We are making quite a bit of money, though, and that's really, really good. Right now, we're about to break even, though, so I'm not too concerned with that. As for this thing, oh my gosh, you guys, it has been such a, such a success, excuse me, I can't even talk. I'm just, like, so emotional right now over this. It's making so much money. We can charge an arm and a leg for it, freaking $22, and people aren't complaining. They're just complaining that the queue is full, because they didn't make a long enough queue. I was just like, mm. Like, it seems like one of those rides that not a lot of people are going to ride. It's a junior coaster. It's a freaking junior coaster. Well, like, why would you want to ride that? But apparently people do. How many... <laughs> Speaking of people, though, what kinds of guests do we have? Yeah, it's still not families, though. Hmm. Interesting. All right, they're complaining that the queues are full, thirsty, queues, yeah. Cosmic Cow's busy. That's that's about it. There's still a lot of people who are thirsty, but then again, there are a lot of people in queues. Like, clearly, that has a big queue. This is a big queue. And, well, that one has a pretty... Oh, Insanity's queue is going away. But this one has a pretty sizable queue, probably because it's, like, the slowest ride ever. Yeah. We're still not making much money off of it. <laughs> and I don't think we could charge much more for it, because people did not enjoy that. Although, maybe if we bump up the queue rating, we could do that. Hmm. I'll consider that for sure, just to see if we can... Oh, it's made money, though. Like, overall, it's made money. So even though it's not making too much these days, it's okay. We're okay with what it's making. And I'm not going to complain whatsoever. And there we go. Insanity has been fixed. And we can get people writing that and making us a bit of money, because... <laughs> I don't like that number. That's a dirty number. <laughs> I don't like odd numbers too much. Let's go for 14, just in case. I don't know if people are going to write it at $14, but... It looks fine. All right. Anyway, that is it for this episode of Planet Coaster Career Mode. In the next episode, we are going to get started on building this, and I'll probably finish the queue here mid-episodes, like, you know, between episodes, excuse me, not mid-episode, in between episodes, just so that people can enjoy this ride and maybe it'll look properly like a Four Dragons roller coaster or something like that. Anyway, if you like this episode, hit that like button and share your support. Subscribe, because we have new Planet Coaster Mode videos every single day. And as always... Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.